Here with Team Sky, the winners of the inaugural Hammer Series and Elia Viviani in that team's time trial, the Hammer Chase in front for so long and then caught, but you stayed cool. You knew exactly what you wanted to do. Yeah, initially we start uh, with the idea to do our our team time trial, so full gas, try to win also the stage after we know the strongest team is BNC, but they have uh, uh, bad luck today. So, uh, But when we lose deep and uh, we understand we are only in four and uh, we miss again one lap, so we try to manage and go steady for all the lap and then we know on the radio some web start to come up and uh, when they chase us, uh, we don't know what we do, but uh, they play a little bit the game, they rest a little bit behind us and then we say, OK, give uh, him in the space and then we see for the sprint. We have a free fast sprint and a uh, fast, spri fast sprinter and uh, Tao will do a good job to do for it. <laughs> well, let's talk to Tao. Tao, you're behind the eight ball then as a non-sprinter. You did your job in the hammer climb, scored lots of points, but today you had to pull out a sprint. Have you ever done any sprint training? Have you ever practiced something like that? And how much pressure did you feel coming into that last 500 metres? Yeah, I think for sure the lead outs that I've been a part of this year with Aaliyah has helped a lot. Um, <laughs> but I'm lost for words at the last kilometre or 500 metres that Van Poppel just pulled out there. I think it was unbelievable how, how fast he overtook them. And I was already sprinting from about 600 metres to go. So I think everyone was on the limit the last metres. And, Thankfully, I had a bit more than those uh, somewhere guys, so yeah, it was a good job by the whole team, I think. Well, after three days of racing like this, did you expect it to come down to the wire and be so very close at the end? Um, yeah, I think with those time gaps and the, the length of that circuit, it's always going to be close, and I think, uh, yeah, 32 seconds planned out to be like the perfect amount for this distance. And um, yeah, I think it was always kind of the danger going off first because you've got no kind of nothing to chase, so you're kind of in on your own a bit, but um, yeah, once we heard they were coming at us towards the narrow section, we thought, OK, just back off, recover, and try and come back past him in the last K. <laughs> Danny Van Poppel, you had the advice from Sylvester Carnarvon to let Team Sunweb take the lead and then try and hit over them, own that last corner, and that was your job. <laughs> yeah, I had to bring them to the last corner, and uh, yeah, it was really close, but uh, if I didn't do that, uh, we didn't win, so uh, it was... Uh, it was uh, yeah, big fight. <laughs> so quite often, racing is riding for one individual from the team, but now you get to win as a team, everybody on the podium. How enjoyable is that? Yeah, for sure, it's good. Yeah, really good. I mean, Team Sky have one today and not anyone, so luckily the boys carry there. Uh, it's through for us. Uh, congratulations to Team Sky, and I'm sure there's going to be plenty of champagne spayed, uh, sprayed on the podium when the official presentation happens. Well done again, guys. Enjoy. Good job, D boys.